Hello everyone, Ms. Justine here with the Lindenhurst Memorial Library. Uh, welcome to another Take and Make Crafts. Uh, today uh, is the Dragonfly Clothespins. Uh, but before I show you how to uh, create your Dragonfly Clothespin, I wanted to read you a little story. And this story is called Soar High Dragonfly. It's written by Sherry Marble Bestory and illustrated by Johnny Lambert and it's published by Sleeping Bear Press. And I wanted to thank the publisher today uh, for allowing us to read their story during our story time. So let's get started. <laughs> Spring sun warms the earth. Seeds sprout, birds build nest. High above, tiny wings hum like wind through the leaves. See the dragonfly? <laughs> The female dragonflies are ready to lay their eggs on land, on surface of a pond, another perch on a water plant. Plop, plop, plop. Tiny eggs are tucked inside a stem. They are safe, waiting to hatch. Rain comes, drip, drip, drip. The pond fills, drop, drop, drop. The eggs seep into the pond. For many days, the eggs float on the water surface. Some are eaten and some are washed away. See how the water rises and the eggs in the water? <laughs> and some hatch. Out swims a nymph. Oh my, a baby dragonfly. Did you know that, boys and girls? Did you know dragonflies were born without wings and they swim? I didn't know that. The nymph is hungry. He spots food. He squirts water out behind him so he can move forward. He thrusts out his tiny jaw and captures his prey with one scoop. Wait, look, he's eating a fish. He swims and eats and swims and eats. As he eats, he grows. As he grows, he sheds his casing. Squirt glump, squirt glump. Look at that. He's shedding his skin. Day fades into night. Night opens into day. The nymph is ready. He waits until dark and safe. He climbs, crawling up, 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 onto a reed. Out of the water, finally, crawling high, dragonfly. Look at, he's leaving the water. His final casing has grown too tight. It cracks, it wiggles, it squiggles. Out crawls. His wings are free at last. But the new dragonfly is too tired to fly. Look at that. So he crawls out of the water. And when his final casing, his skin, gets too tight, out comes the wings. And now a dragonfly. When the sun peeks up, the dragonfly's wings dry in its warmth. The hum is morning light. He stretches and strengthens. He adjusts his wings to slant off the breeze. He uses his thorax to launch himself, and he's flying, soaring high, dragonfly. That's pretty cool, look at dragonfly flying now. Although he has never flown before, he's an expert. He can fly forward, he can fly backwards, he can fly fast, he can even hover in midair. His large eyes wrap around his head so he can scan every direction at the same time. He spots a bird coming at him. Uh-oh, he darts and gets away. Whew, that was quick. He almost got caught by the bird. The sun begins to sink. The air cools. To stay warm, the dragonfly lands on a leaf and tips his wings to catch the fading sun. When dark falls, his body changes color. Oh my, dragonfly. Look at that. I didn't know dragonflies change color when it gets dark. That's pretty cool. Look at the colors he changed. Autumn cools the air. Leaves burst into color. High above, tiny wings hum like wind through the leaves. It's the time for the dragonflies to go, to find warmer days, to lay their eggs, and to start again. Bye-bye, dragonfly. The end. <laughs> Wasn't that a cool story about dragonflies? pretty cool how they start right they start as little eggs 
and then they hatch into nymphs that swim in the water. Then when they're getting too big, they climb out of the water, dry off, and shed their casing, and pop their wings, and out comes a dragonfly. That's so cool. So we're gonna make our own dragonflies, but we're gonna make them already flying. So this is what they're gonna look like when they're done. And I'm gonna show you what you guys are gonna get when you pick up. So this is your kit. So I'm gonna open it up and show you. So inside your kit, you're gonna get your dragonfly wings. You're gonna get clothespin. And you're gonna get two tiny eyes. And be very careful, okay? I'm not gonna take them out of the bag. I'll show you them what they look like already glued on. Very tiny. I don't know if you could see. I'll bring it a little closer. So what you're going to do is, the first step is you're going to color your dragonfly. So this is something that's not in your kit. So you're going to have to provide your own crayons, markers or pencils, paint, whatever you want to color it with, and glue. Those are two things that you guys need. So you're going to color however you want to color your dragonfly. Stripes, polka dots. I don't know if you could tell. I put little polka dots on mine. Once it's done, you're going to take your paper and you're going to color your wings whatever color you want then you're going to cut out your wings like I did so here then you're going to put on your wings you're going to use your glue now and put them on and you're going to be very careful and put a little bit of glue in the front where I see where it opens and you're going to put your eyes and there you go your dragonfly clothespin <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my story today and stay tuned for more take and makes um, I will see you soon bye